Do y'all see what I see? Look at that right there. What is that? Well, good morning, everybody. Been on the road for about three hours now. Headed down to central Louisiana again today, back down to where I've hunted many times with Bayou Digs and uh, headed to what we call the circus grounds. Back in the early 1900s, used to be a circus there, and we have found so many things there. And the last time I was down here, I was getting into a pocket where I found some bullets and some Civil War stuff, and I've been wanting to come back down. But uh, that day, it was just so hot, and uh, I just dehydrated, and I just had to leave. So I'm coming back down here today. I may be to meet up with Bayou Diggs in just a little while. Uh, he may or may not show up on the on this, or, uh, but uh, I'll let him know I'm down here. And uh, I was going to see if we can get some bullets and uh, some O coins. And I'm going to be hitting an area up in the woods that we've never detected before. And some different areas where we just haven't really went over. And uh, hopefully it's going to pay off. So I've got just a little bit further to go. And so uh, when I get on location, get suited up and find something good, I'll turn the camera on and we'll show it to you. So until then, just sit back and enjoy the show. down here but my objective is to hunt straight forward toward that pole into the trees to the left and down this tree line to my right and see what we come up with and then we'll move on over here and there's another section back over there uh, past the church that we can hit later on this afternoon so I'll be hunting with my equinox today and everything's gonna stay pretty much the same I'm gonna be multiple frequency park one and uh, we're gonna leave everything as it is. We're just gonna look at the recovery speed at five and we're gonna look at the sensitivity. We'll bring it up to 22 and uh, we're ready to roll. So let's get it. Getting my first decent target here. Bringing up a 16, 17, 18, about eight inches deep. All right, let's see if we can't live dig this. And let's see if it's not gonna be a a Civil War bullet. Let's see if we can see if I'm guessing right. It sounds like one. It's got the right depth. But in this one particular area that I'm in, there is a lot of trash right in here. But this sounds like a bullet. This sounds like a bullet. Nope. Gonna be a piece of trash. All right, I've been out here about 30 minutes. Been digging lots of trash on this side. All the good stuff we dug's been on that other side. I was getting a 32, 31, real good high tone right here. And um, dug it up in a couple of years ago. I dug one of these kind of in the same general area. So check this out. Be right there. It's gonna be a range guide. Check that out. Brass range guide. I dug the other one. I have to look in my collection and see if the other one matches this one. Because I dug the other one kind of over where that other tree is over there. But uh, I'll take that. I'm right here beside a big uprooted tree. Check out that root system. And so, all right, there's one good target. So let's keep looking over here, see if we can't find us a Indian head, a V-nickel, a shield nickel, a seeded dime, an old barber, even old mercs. All right, I made it down to the woods right through here that I'm wanting to get into. And right now I'm just kind of going down this fence line and got a 21-22 signal. I'm thinking it's just going to be one of those bottle caps, but hey, check this out. About six inches deep, you know what that's going to be? That's going to be 
a flat button. A very nice gilded flat button. Let me do some cleaning up on it. Much as I can get and do the field cleaning here, get off of it. But you can tell it was a gold gilded button. Shank is still on it. I don't see any writing on the back. But what I what this tells me is is that this is old. This whole area is old. And if you're digging flat buttons, we're gonna get some Civil War bullets, some Civil War relics, some old coins. So let's keep searching these trees. Let's get up inside of them here in a minute and see what we come up with. Nothing like a good old flat button to start the day out with. Let's keep on going. Thought I'd try to live dig this for you guys. 27, 28. The 28 at six inches. Man, that sounds like a silver coin to me. I hope so. Let's uh, get our mark here. And let's see. Let's see. I hope so. Be my first silver today. Nope, that's what it's going to be. Piece of copper wire. That's what I've been digging up over here. All right, let's keep going. I moved back out here in the field, digging up a lot of trash. But just got a an 18. And it's going to be one of those three ringers. Before there was a circus out here, this must have been a muster point for the troops because we have dug so much Civil War relics out here. I won't show every bullet that I dig, but I'll show a couple of them if there's something different. Here's a three ringer, 69 caliber. Always a nice find. I like finding these bullets. Let's keep on digging. Look for that big silver. Well, I'm just keep on moving through here. I got a 26, 27. Very good high pitch. Thought it was going to be a, a dime, but it's going to be something. It's going to be a relic. That's all I've been digging so far is relics. So check this out. There it is. Another one of those Model T Ford valve stem covers. That's always a good find. Put it in the collection. I got about 10, 15 of these. All right, let's get a picture. Keep on going. All right, that's bringing up a 3031 good high tone. Let's see if this is going to be a quarter for us. Most likely it's going to be trash like everything else I've been digging. There it is. Yep, just gonna be clad. Oh well. Doesn't hurt to try. Bayou Diggs made it out today. He'll be over here in a minute. I'm back over here where the old plantation used to sit, and uh, we've been through this place a, a lot. And every time we come through here, you dig something else out. And I just got a real squeaky 2122, real deep. Look at that. That's going to look like a token, doesn't it? Get out in the sun here. Maybe if I uh, do some cleaning up, maybe we see some writing on it. So let me clean it up and get back to you. I don't think it's a token. If it is a token, it is toast. I mean, I don't see any type of writing on it whatsoever. But it is... Looks like a token, feels like a token, just doesn't, I can't see any writing on it. Too bad, that would have been a good one. I had lunch with uh, Bayou Diggs and then he went that direction and I went uh, this direction out here back in the uh, open circus ground area. Just trying to find anything, digging everything. And I just popped this up and I love it when it this happens. I bring my shovel up and it pops right out of the ground right there. That is going to be most likely a V nickel. I can't make anything out on it right now. There we go. I might get a date off of that. Let me clean this up and see if I can't get a date on it. 
Well, I thought for a second it was going to be a shield nickel, but the shield nickel is just a little bit smaller than a V-nickel. But if you can look, I can't see it here out in the in the sun glare on my phone, but uh, she's looking there to the left, and the date's on the bottom, but uh, it's, it's too toasted. I can't get a date. I think the last digit is an 8, so that's either going to be... These came out in 1883, so it'd be 1888 or 1898, or it could be uh, 1908. I don't know. One of those three possibilities. But anyway, let's get a picture. Let's keep on swinging, see if there's in some Indian heads and some silver out here. Well, the finds are just few and far between today. Uh, I got that V-nickel, and a guy came over and talked to me, and I, he showed me where a lot of more locations were, like another circus ground, some old houses. But you just got to do the research, find the landowner, and get permission and get over there, not too far from here. And, uh, but I came still out here in the field and finally got a 20, good solid 20, about six inches deep. Didn't live dig it because I've been digging so much trash. And, uh, but it turns out to be something good. Check this out. That's green. That's a green, that's gonna be an Indian. <laughs> yep, sure enough, 1900, 1900, that's good, man. It's a Finally got me an Indian head. It's been a while. One cent. 1900. I love digging these Indian heads. Well, I moved on over from the other field. Uh, got that Indian head. I'm going to kind of finish up over there this evening. Came back over here behind the old house and uh, got a good signal. I'm going to live dig this one just in case. There it is. 26, 27. So let's see what this one's gonna do. Can I get a silver finally? It's been brass. Wow, ground is, they got so much rain down here. All right. Let's see. I don't hear it anywhere. Huh. That doesn't make sense, does it? Such a good target and all of a sudden it disappears. I guess I didn't pinpoint it. It's showing to be over over here. Well that is weird. Y'all sat there and saw that target with me. That is so weird. How can a coin, if it is a coin, I guess I'm not deep enough. It's showing the still a loud sound. But my pin pointer, let's get a big chunk out of this. Now, let's see. Unless my pinpointer's messed up. It's not there. Uh, I guess I'm I'm just missing it all together. Alright, now it's in the hole. Can y'all see that? Oh I see it. Check that out. It is silk. Check that out. Right there. Right there. What's it going to be? Is it going to be seated? Is it going to be barber? Or is it going to be a merc? It looks like it's going to be a merc. I can't keep it in focus. It's going to be a merc dime. Yep, it's going to be a merc. I'm having a hard time keeping this thing in focus, aren't I? 
What's that going to be? 1917. Wow, I missed that 1916 by one year, didn't I? No mint mark. I can't tell. Sun glare is really bad. All right, I'll take that silver. Let's put it right down here and let's get a picture of old Wing Liberty. And let's keep on swinging. Maybe another one out here. Check this out. 32, 33. Four inches deep. I'm digging kind of in a trash pit right here, so it could be trash. But we'll live dig it just in case. Come on, look Nope. It's going to be a piece of trash. Oh well. Let's keep going. Well, you can tell I've been digging a bunch of holes right through here. I think this is a trash pile. And uh, I got another. I dug that uh, mark right there. I've been kind of working this area. And, and I got another. That's got a good high tone. I don't know if it's trash. Like that one I dug a while ago was trash, a 32. Let's see what this is going to be. Got a bunch of live digs that probably y'all won't see because I'm not going to put them on camera because there's just too many of them. All right. You can tell, see the black? Like a trash pit was here. I think it's just gonna be trash. That's a a root. Yeah, that's that. But that's not what. Surely, I wasn't picking up that. There we go. That's what I was picking up. See that right there? Can y'all see that? Gonna be another mercury dime black like that trash pile let's see what year is that going to be you know read that i can't see it in the sun 19 is that 1917 another 1917 oh twice i've missed that 1916 just by a little bit all right well that's what I love about this Equinox. In the same hole was this barbed wire and that mercury dime. And I can still pick it out. It was kind of choppy, but I still pick it out. There's Bayou. Say hello, Bayou. I don't have you on camera yet, man. Hey. He's been here for a couple of hours. He's just been detecting different places than I have. And so uh, we came over here to take a little break. So I thought I'd get him on camera there. Get you a good find and let me come film it, okay? All right. You got the big daddy on now. You're going to get something. Well, I came over here to get me a drink and sit down. And um, before I dug that, uh, right after I dug that V-nickel, I dug a button up over there. And I just thought it was just a Harvest International because we're in, you know, Harvest uh, area. You know, all the tractors down here. I thought I saw the tractor on it. came over here to get a drink and I was showing Bayou Digs. And this is going to be a Philadelphia police button. It's got a T on the top and a shield in the middle, something on the sides and bottom. But Philadelphia from the star over to the right, over to the other side, and then police on the bottom. You can see it. So that's a neat little find. I just thought I would show you guys that since I didn't do a, a dig. It's got um, pretty corroded on the back. The shank is still on there. I might can get that, uh, get that uh, iron off of it. And see if it's got a bat mark and we can kind of date this everything in this field over there we're over there where those kids are playing and that big that's where the circus was so who knows probably a, a guy was visiting from philadelphia and he came down here to louisiana and 
went to the circus and uh, he snagged his coat button up on the bleachers and it fell off and I came up a hundred years later and and dig it up who knows what the story is but all right I'm rested up I've got to go get see if I can't find me some more good relics uh, some more good coins and and just something crazy stupid good that's what I want I'm in the country to do it so let's go look see what we can get well I am wore out I've been out here since 8 30 and it's about five o'clock 4 30 right now and I'm wore out my back is wore out and it's just a lot of swinging not a lot of targets just a lot of swinging but uh I got uh, another good signal right here back out in the, the main circus area a lot of trash out here kind of on the end I'm at there's kind of a old house that used to sit right there so I'm digging a lot of copper on uh, copper wire copper tubing stuff like that but I got a 25 I'm thinking well this ain't you know not worth digging it you know it didn't sound like a dime but I see silver it's right there sometimes they fool you yeah it's gonna be a an old Merc 1919 what it looks like and these old Mercs are thin so they ring up different I got two 1917s and a 1919 uh oh it wants to go back home maybe I should plant it back and leave it for Bayou Digs next time I don't think so I'm gonna take it because it's only the third silver today not every video can be a big silver day can it I'll take a 1919 though that's a pretty one I like them when they're worn out like that little tarnish they come out pretty clean on this ground the V nickels don't but the silver does all right let's get a picture Sun's just about down. We got a little bit more time, so let's see if we can squeak out another good find. Good 29. They're ringing very loud, so let's see if we can live dig this, see what we come up with. Put that down. A lot of trash over here. There's something there. That's just going to be a big piece of pipe. Let's check her hole. Do y'all see what I see? That's why it was jumping up from a 26 up to a 33 before I started filming. Look at that right there. What is that? That's a barber quarter. That is a barber quarter. Oh man. Let's pop it. That's a beautiful barber quarter. What year is that? 1898. Check it out, guys. Almost my last dig of the day. I'm over here right in this ditch. And, uh, wow, I'll take that any day. Check that out. I can't believe that. That is awesome. It's in great shape, a little worn. But you'd think they would be worn 1898. That's a pretty one, pretty toning on it. Finally. I got a big silver. I didn't think I was going to get anything today, but three three silvers, three marks, and one barber quarter. That's really good. And so uh, I'll take that. There may be a few more down this side. Let's keep digging to see what we come up with. Well, I found that barber quarter over there toward that house right there beside the ditch. And I'm just working myself back to my truck right down there. And got a solid 11, 12. They're mainly on 12. And this is going to be a nice V nickel. Check that out. If I can keep it in focus. 
Yeah, finally got one that's got some definition on it. Look at that. You see the V? I'm keeping it in focus. And I can't read the date. Let me clean it up. Let's see what this is going to be. You know, this is going to be an 1897 vehicle. She'll clean up a little bit better. You can see see her. You can see the stars. You can see the V on the back. This is a one of the better ones. 1897. Swing all the way back to the truck. All right, let's keep swinging. See if we can get something else on the way. All right, I made it back in uh, last night about eight o'clock. Yesterday was a long day. Got up at five, drove three hours, detected eight and a half hours and drove three hours home. I was so tired. I came home, got a shower and I just went to bed and brought the, that was, that, this was New Year's Eve. And so I just slept in the new year and uh, boy, it was a long day, but I had a good time, found a lot of good stuff. I was just going to hunt the areas that I know that I haven't hunted much before. We've been all over that place so many times. So I was just really trying to find places I know that we really haven't hunted. And then go back over areas that we have and just dig every single signal. And I dug silvers up that didn't even sound like silvers. And so I had a really good time. I'm glad Bayou Diggs came out and met me with his boys and we had a good time. So I got everything laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found on this trip. All right, here's all my trash. And boy, you can see I dig, dug the trash. Oh, wow, did I dig the trash. And... uh Nice little Ford hubcap there. But yeah, you got to dig all of that to get all of this right here. And this is what I got on this trip. I got a coin spill right on top of the ground. You can see where the mowers have hit, hit it. And uh, so five quarters, three dimes, two nickels, and seven pennies is my clad. I got a range guide. I'm going to see if my other one matches up. Bayou Diggs told me that he found one just like this, so he may have the, the matching set. I dug an old buckle. And then I also have a um, Model T4 valve stem cover. Got a, some modern bullets here. But it did end up getting uh, three, four, uh, three ringers, mini balls. So that's always good to dig those up. I got a Texas and Pacific uh, bell seal. Then some little button there. Another flat button. Another flat button. Then another good... Uh, gilded button right there i got this um philadelphia police button i thought was a real good find ended up getting two wheaties uh 1940 and 19 what is that 42 and i don't know what this one was i think it's it's I, I don't even know it it cleaned it up i did get a 1906 indian head i thought it was a 1900 but it's 1906 indian head uh, this V-nickel I dug at the Relic Roundup, but I didn't show it in my wrap-up at the last video, but I want to show it to you here. On this trip, I did get this uh, last digit is an 8, so I don't know if it's 1888, 1980, I mean 18, uh, 88, uh, or 1888, 1898, or 1908. But this one is an 1897 V-nickel. You can see it still has a lot of the definition on it. Very pretty coin. You can see you're looking to the left there. 1897 that's always good it's what they used to get into that circus no barber dimes this time but i did manage to squeak out a 1917 a 1917 and a 1919 and the find of the day it came at the very end of the day digging by the ditch over there 1898 barber quarter as you saw in the video in the hole with another piece of uh, metal so you got to dig those things and the equinox is good about separating them out so you can get those good targets so I had a really good time. And so there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go down to Louisiana and dig out of a circus ground. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody Happy New Year and God bless.